Now, before I begin this video, I just want to give my definition of best when it comes to the choosing of these players. It's not necessarily the player for me that has scored the most goals or points, but rather the player from each team that is the most valuable all around. More specifically, which player would hurt the team the most to lose at this present moment, and who is and will be the most valuable player to their all-around success in the league. Now, with that being said, on to Anaheim. My choice was Ryan Getzlav. Getzlav is a coveted power forward with an ability to not only lead, but also put up points. He does so by bringing a unique combination of size and skill to the ice. As Ducks captain, he has been reliable in all situations, including power plays, penalty kills, and when the team is down a goal in the third period. Last season, he had a stunning number of 73 points in 74 games. He still managed to win a Stanley Cup and to be a runner-up for the Hart Trophy in 2014. There is no doubt in my mind that Getzlav is a one-of-a-kind player that will be hard for Anaheim to replace when the time comes. My honorable mention was John Gibson. Oliver Ekman Larson. Even though Larson didn't lead the Coyotes in scoring this past season, like in his previous seasons with the team, he is still deserving of the MVP award for his tremendous hockey IQ and puck moving abilities. He's definitely one of the best defensemen in the league. He possesses great strength on the puck that is visible in one-on-one -on -one puck battles. Even though the Coyotes have struggled this season, Ekman Larson always makes sure to compete his hardest during every match while getting the puck out of harm's way. Honorable mentions were Clayton Keller and Max Domi. I couldn't pick between the two, so. Patrice Bergeron. Bergeron has brought a unique blend of defensive responsibility and top-end defensive talent to the Bruins roster. His ability to shut down the best opposition has helped the Bee bounce back countless times in the standings, including this season. There is no doubt that if the Bruins were to lose this valuable center, it would be a loss that would be hard to come back from. Honorable mention, Brad Marchand. Jack Eichel. This is one of those scenarios where everyone just pretty much knows the answer because well, the type of offensive talent and skill this former Eagle brings to the team is unmatched, hands down. Without Eichel, Buffalo would not have the same sense of direction and probably would be lower in the standings in Arizona, respectively. Anyways, Jack Eichel, enough said. Honorable mention, Evander Kane. And one of my personal favorites, Johnny Gaudreau. Former Hobie Baker Award winner, Gaudreau is now the big man on campus in Calgary. Not only is he leading his team in points, but he's been doing so by being an all-around team player and setting guys up near the crease. His amazing stick handling and speed have made him into one of the greatest offensive threats in the league. Honorable mention, Mark Giordano. Jeff Skinner. After winning the Calder Memorial Trophy as the league's best rookie in 2011, Skinner has quickly become a cornerstone in the Hurricanes organization. He's one of those offensive talents that isn't afraid to go down to the blue line and play defense when needed. Even though the 25-year-old winger has struggled with consistency at times, he is still, in my opinion, the most valuable player on the Canes' current roster. Honorable mention, Jordan Stahl. Patrick Kane. Again, this is kind of a no-brainer. Even though Kane is not the captain or even an assistant, he's still been able to lead the Hawks in more ways than one. The three-time Stanley Cup winner and 2013 Conn Smythe recipient, Kane has been the unofficial face of the Blackhawks team for a long time and will continue to be for more seasons to come. Honorable mention, Jonathan Taze. Nathan McKinnon. The Avs were at their worst last season as a franchise for sure, but even at their worst, McKinnon was still able to be one of those few brighter spots on the roster. At times, the young and fast team seemed talentless, 
but McKinnon consistently provided the team with energy, skill, and hockey smarts. Even still, McKinnon has been a key in propelling the Avalanche to be the playoff contender that they currently are. Honorable mention, Jonathan Bernier. Sergei Bobrovsky. As a result of his stellar performances for the first time since the 2013-14 season, in which he had a league-leading .931 save percentage in 63 starts, the Blue Jackets qualified for the Stanley Cup playoffs last season, and will probably qualify again. Honorable mention, Artemi Panarin. Jamie Benn. This one was kind of tough for me because it was between Sagan and Jamie Benn, but I'm going to have to go with the latter. Because yes, Sagan is putting up points, but I feel like if the Stars lost Benn, it would be a major blow. They could replace Sagan eventually, but Ben would be a lot harder to. He's another, he's another power forward that brings more than just points to the table. He isn't afraid to get physical, both as a power forward and a middleweight enforcer at times. As talented and deep as the stars are, Ben is the guy who sets the tone for the group on and off the ice. Honorable mention, obviously, Tyler Sagan. Tyler Sagan. Henrik Zetterberg. Even though it's pretty obvious that his time is limited in the Motor City, the Swedish captain has been the most valuable team asset for a while now. The Detroit Red Wings missed the playoffs for the first time since 1990, an unprecedented 25-year playoff streak, which means last season was Zetterberg's first time in his career missing the postseason. That alone is pretty impressive. As Detroit has been rebuilding for a while now, Zetterberg's expertise and experience has been a valuable asset to the team, making him a quintessential captain. Honorable mention, Dylan Larkin. Connor McDavid. That's all I really need to say there. Honorable mention, tough choice, but Leon Dreisaitl. Aaron Ekblad. He was my ultimate choice because when I think about who will grow to be the face of this team and probably its next captain in the near future, this guy is it. He's a solid defenseman that can easily be inserted to the Norris conversation. And like I said, he's going to be relied on even more once the Panthers put him in a higher position of leadership. Honorable mention, Alexander Barkov. Jonathan Quick. Some people might not agree with me on this, but my number one choice is Quickie. The Los Angeles goaltending record book basically belongs to him, whether it's in regular season or postseason. Practically every significant franchise mark for goalies is held by Quick. Former 2011 Conn Smythe recipient and two-time cup champ, Quick is one of the main reasons why Los Angeles was able to make their groundbreaking comeback in 2014, pretty much due to Quick standing on his head. When he's healthy and has the confidence, the sky is the limit for him and the Kings, as far as I'm concerned. Honorable mention, Drew Doughty. I can hear Jens95 in the background as I speak with this choice, but even still, naturally, Devin Dubnik. A former first round pick in 2004, he has developed nicely into an elite goaltender starting for the Minnesota Wild. With a .923 save percentage over the past three seasons and a current one of .916, without a doubt he is among the most elite goaltenders and a huge asset for Minnesota. Honorable mention, Eric Stahl.